We're out here in the middle, ready for the toss for this very important game. It's the final. No bigger stage than this one. Of course, we've got the two captains here with me, Ricky Ponting, the Australian captain, Saurabh Ganguly, the Indian captain, and of course, our match referee, Ranjan Madugali. Saurabh, I think you have the coin? Heads. Heads. Heads is the call. It is tails. Saurabh, you have won the toss. What will you be doing? We'll have a ball. Why is that? Because it's, it's a bit damp. Uh, it's been a lot of rain in the morning. Uh, we'll have a go at this first. We'll bowl first. So you're hoping that their fast bowlers will get a bit of purchase on the surface and you'll get a couple of early wickets? I definitely think so. If they can put the ball in the right place the way they've bowled, uh, we'll definitely get some purchase on it. You haven't had any injury problems, sir. As a matter of fact, you have had 12 players playing throughout the tournament. Any changes today? No, we're going with the same side. The boys have been fit uh, and it's good to see that, that we've survived the whole tour without any injury problems. Okay, sir. It's a big one. Good luck. Thanks, Michael. Ricky, would you have done anything different? No, I would have had a bat actually. Um, it's always nice to bat in, in big games and in finals, I think. So, uh, yeah, we would have had a bat. It seemed as if there's just a touch of moisture there. You're not worried about that? No, we played on a uh, wicket very similar to this against Pakistan, I think, early in the tournament. We managed to uh, get through the tough periods there and post the big first innings and then uh, able to defend that. So that's what we're having to do today. Yeah, I've had a few hiccups along the way. You certainly don't want one today. No, we don't want any hiccups today. Uh, obviously, a big game and a final, but um, we're just approaching it the same way as any other game. You have had a few injury problems as well. Have you been able to select from your full squad today? Yeah, we have. Everyone's come up uh, fit. Damien Martin's back into the side today for, for Ian Harvey. So, um, yeah, we're hoping that he can perform well as he has done for most of the tournament. OK, Ricky, good luck. Thanks, mate. Well, that's the situation down here. The Indians have won the toss and Saurav Ganguly has invited Australia to bat first. It's probably a little bit of a surprise and the Australians, I think, would be cock-a-hoop about that, Ian. Just the one change. Martin in, Harvey out. Yeah, Damien Martin in. Uh, the footage I saw earlier it looks like it might be a bit of a gamble. But I'm not surprised that Ricky Ponning had a huge smile on his face uh, when he said he would have batted anyhow. Because I look at it this way, Australia's great strength is their bowling. Their bowlers have held up under pressure all the way through the tournament. The one question mark is the batting. The batting is a little bit brittle. I think I would have liked to have tested, if I was uh, Ganguly, I would have liked it to test the Australian batsman out uh, under pressure, which means chasing. But uh, he's decided to go differently. Just over the top of Vashishnir and that's running away for a boundary to finish proceedings. What a superb performance from Australia. Reminder, of course, that India won the toss and asked them to bat 50 overs. They've got 359 for two in the World Cup final. Ricky Ponting, absolutely outstanding. 140 not out of 121 balls. And good support also from Ricky. Damien Martin, rather, 88 in the partnership, 234. But brilliant stuff from Ricky Ponting. Well, as I said, the records just keep on tumbling. Eight sixes in the innings so Ricky Ponting, the highest ever in an innings by an Australian. Far outnumbering the fours that he hit. But why hit fours if you can clear the boundary as easily as he has? A dejected walk off the field by the Indians. It's not over until it's over, but just the body language that you're seeing from the Indians there, you get the impression that they don't think they have got a chance. So Australia have one point going there. One psychological advantage already. Um, Titi, you have so it has been a bit of a nightmare so far for India, but of course they've uh, got a couple of fine players in form. There's a look at the Australian uh, batting lineup today and what they did. It was Carnage at one stage. Gilchrist and Hayden played superbly at the start. Gilchrist 57 off 48 balls. Matty Hayden a little bit more subdued, 37 off 54. And Ricky Ponting not out 140 off 121 deliveries, eight sixes and four fours, and Damian Martin not out, 88 off 84, and seven fours and one six for him, but that partnership of 234 got them to 359 for two. And you can imagine the bowlers must have suffered. Three, six, eight of them. Well, well, well. None of them able to go for less than five runs and over, apart from Verinda Sewa, who just had three overs. Ashish Nira, though, has to be said to be the pick of the seamers. 57 runs came off his 10 overs. And look on the maidens. Well, they're all duck eggs. Not one maiden in the innings. 